Everyone. Hello there. Anthracite and Surplus. Hello there. Man, freaking uh, Streamlabs is trying to mess with me because both your names are the exact same color, but when I look over at the uh, browser, the, uh, browser? The, the, the browser got so open, I use the Windows, the, the Internet Explorer 2. It's better than the first one. Oh, I know that exact feeling. I hate it. Ugh. That's how I quit. Forever. <laughs> Mandy's staring at you as you kill its brother. <laughs> uh, dude, Battle Block Theater was freaking amazing. Also, I moved the uh, microphone back like three inches. We're going to see how it sounds in the end. <sighs> Something seems too loud or not, uh, please tell me. Because I'm probably going to end up using these uh, <laughs> highlights as well, potentially. I don't know. It's, it's a Barrel Bro adventure. Probably don't need it. Anywho, uh, record. Just in case. Um... Whatever, it doesn't matter which one I need to load. Sound pretty good? Awesome. See, unfortunately, whenever I do all of my audio balancing, it's done with noise-canceling headphones, so it could sound horrible in a speaker. Because <laughs> there are times I play back the, um, everything sounds good on my... What the dicks is going on right now? Yeah, I play it back on my end and it sounds great and I switch it over to a speaker and I'm like, I can't hear anything. Uh, how's everybody doing? I know you, be, you may be thinking, it's Monday, why are you streaming? Oh. I gotta get these shrines done, that's why. Got to keep up the pace. Barrel Bro wouldn't get revenge on me. We're bros. We're like brothers. Only closer, Squidward. But I, I do have all of the uh, soundtracks now updated. Um... Yeah, turns out there was a button I could push to see all of them. Uh, so I went back and downloaded everything. Oh, everybody's already dead. That was awkward. I think I think I just cock blocked that barrel. Uh, on the road again. I can't wait to be on the road again. Oh, and I did add the uh, um, two things that have been added to the Jerry thing. Um, one of them being just make me say things as people. And the other is the uh, 120 shades of Link. Wink, wink. If you know, you know. Also, I just realized the game audio. Um, console, I need to set up to monitor and output. There we go. I didn't have my headphones plugged in when I first started the uh, stream. And then I realized the headphones are, I say plugged in, connected. But they are what Streamlabs is looking for, and I noticed the music wasn't playing, so I had to turn them on. So my headphones probably won't die. Low battery. Please recharge headset. Oh, 
That was pretty productive today. And like regular life stuff, not anything that is probably important. Not like my my life or my family. That's not important at all. What's important is Vigi games. Now video games what I gotta live for. That's what I thought. Don't know what that accent was. I mean I know what that accent was. I don't know why I used it. Alright. <laughs> Skipping the song. I screwed up. Oh wait, no, it was snowing. It's snowing outside. Don't you fucking dare! <laughs> now you can pr uh, procrastinate from re-recording. Yeah, just do like me and don't re-record it. <laughs> Like, I lost three hours for the, um, how to obtain the paraglider thing, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm done with this. I'm not doing it again. We gotta rest and do the sleep sleep. Um, let's use this, this wood right here. Also, let's... I'm gonna save in the morning. Now, weirdly enough, even though I, like, just completely bailed on that particular recording, um, normally I'm pretty good about just being like, alright, let's do it again after losing, like, seven hours of progress. There you go. That's how the pros do it. Just steal the footage. God, what was it? Um, I was gonna do that for... Uh, the how to obtain the paraglider thing. It was going to... I needed the, like, cutscene of talking to Pura, and I didn't have it, and I didn't want to, like, bother trying to get it. So, yeah. I was just gonna steal it, but... I lost the other stuff, so I just didn't do it. Are those curbs? Those cribbies? Little blue cribbies? No? Okay. Pokemon Colosseum. Colosseum. Colosseum is one of those words I like to intentionally say incorrectly. I always say it as Colosseum. There are others, but I can't think of what they are right now. So I'm just not gonna. Goat! I almost called that a deer. Good luck spelling it correctly. Yeah, and it's call le. Uh, hold on, I think I got this. C O L O S S E U M. I'm really putting a lot of faith that it was spelled correctly in the title. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna spell it that way. I was gonna do like C O L L I. <laughs> <sighs> so I'm going to try to start putting out videos on Fridays instead of Sundays because um, Sunday sucks. It's sometimes good. Most of the time not. Yeah, you can do that. As long as you mention it in the uh, thing, I won't download the whole soundtrack. Because whenever I do it, um, I've got a Python script I wrote that just go iterate. It uses a uh, Python library that can download YouTube stuff, and it just iterates through an entire playlist. So I usually just grab the whole playlist. Um, but if it's one specific song, it's fine. Um, 
I might need to start... I might change it up to where people can start doing, like, one song. Um, that makes it a lot harder to uh, track what's on here, though. I need to make, like, a Google spreadsheet or something that... Of <laughs> the songs that are already in use. Uh, I don't know. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do it. Because, realistically, I need to have a bot set up. Yeah, I already have a bot, but I just don't do anything with it. But it needs to watch the uh, Channel Point Redemptions and then just auto-download it for me. But then, you know, somebody might down, uh, suggest, like, the um, the lemon-stealing whores. I'm doing it again. I'm, I'm carrying... I'm carrying the freaking guy all the way up there. Yeah, like right now it's always the same people here, so um, usually if you recommend a game, it's decent overall. Like I need it to be automated in order to, uh, oh, that was like perfect, dude. <laughs> the context of the game itself, yeah. <sighs> It's fun. I need to... I, I keep saying this, but one of these days, maybe once I've got, like, six more shrines recorded, we'll sit down and just one stream go through all of the music and sort slash remove things. Because there's some songs that are good, but I also want to try and start sorting it into, like actual bangers and some chill music and things like that so I can pick a playlist instead of everything oh no my internet isn't going through the tubes it's not making it guys can you still hear me beep boop I click over or I'd reach over to my uh <laughs> I do a quick reach around to my mixer and turn on an audio whatchamacallit um on a voice effect whatever audio effect I don't freaking know I can't words 120 shades of link hello there and welcome I'll try to get my uh seductive voice you know perfected before you guys meet that the 50 shades of gray was good but it could be better. Blue gray, yellow gray, green gray, orange gray, gray gray, gray kind of gray, off gray, un gray. It was like un gray. I don't know, I can't reverse engineer Pig Latin. <laughs> Alright, here we go. There's the first hurdle. And leap! Ow! My kidneys hurt a little. That's, that's, that's like at the bottom of my feet, right? It's the kidneys. Ow. Please don't roll. Please don't roll. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please come. Okay, I'm good. I can start breathing again. <laughs> You guys do that whenever you start focusing or getting like real intense on a game. You just don't breathe. Like I, I can breathe later. I'll have time to breathe when I'm dead. I don't. I, I gotta focus. Cause I do that sometimes. Probably shouldn't. Really don't. Happens a lot during, like, fighting games like Super Smash Bros. or something. Where, like, I stop breathing for a little bit and then I shift back over 
I like frantically try to get my breathe in. <laughs> my breathe in, my breathes in. Breathe while dead challenge, go. Um. Oh, that dog is just rolling around. I thought that was like a goat and it was upside down. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go get an exorcist real quick. Ooh, crab! Gimme! I want the crab! Get your breathe on, kids. Also, is Modius, hello there. And Kudo Kupo, hello there. Pumps, too, I guess. I mean, you talked a little bit ago. You're multicasting, killing, you know, children. Not just the women, or not, not just the women, but I also killed the men. That's the Star Wars quote, right? <laughs> what was it there? I was going through, uh, there was something on Reddit where it was like, what's a dark fact about Star Wars? And then it's one of them is like, Padme didn't say anything about, um about him killing the younglings. <laughs> like, he killed the, uh, not just the men, but the women and children, too. And she's just like, okie dokie, this is normal! Breathe faster. That's the unsafe thing to do. Also, <laughs> breathe. not breathing is an unsafe thing to do. Uh, guys, the police are here. I need to figure out how to, like, cap things in uh, OBS. I know it's, like, not the condenser. Maybe it's the condenser. I don't know. I need to get the audio to, like, on the music to never exceed a certain decibel level. I've done it before, but, yeah. Because I need it to be good for, like, videos. Because the, I feel like the, um... The last shrine video that I did stream highlights on, I feel that actually went pretty well. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Give up, Obi Wan. I have the low ground. <laughs> well, dickery do my dickery dots. The song has vocals in it. It's probably not good for hello there and welcome. Today's shrine is Kumakama. <laughs> no, wait, this is... Wait, yeah, it's Knights Academy. That's what I start every single video with. It did throw me off when I was playing um, Skyward Sword when this started playing, and I'm like, this is... I'm not making a video. What is this? Oh, man. I wonder if I could just kind of inch it over. Hup. Nailed it. Can I push them with the wind across the water? Uh, that sounds terrifying. I don't want to do that. Boop! <laughs> Sand doesn't like me. I'm coarse. <laughs> I get everywhere. Also, I'd have to push four barrels. And that sounds terrifying. No! Damn it! Huh. That could have been... Stop it, Link. You're embarrassing everyone. Huh. No, 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 no! I hate this. 
I mean, in theory, I can also walk the barrels there one by one. But this is so much more fun. Who doesn't like a romantic trip with your best bros? Also, I never really thought about it until um, somebody pointed out in the comment. Uh, they asked about Bill and Ted asking if it was related to the Mario enemies, and I never really thought about the fact that there is a Bill and Ted in Mario. It's uh, Bullet Bill and uh, Torpedo Ted. <laughs> Fitting music, though. <laughs> Vader, I am your son. <laughs> what? <sighs> no. It can't be true. And then Mori Povich comes out. It's great. Um, <laughs> I am making a mistake right now. <laughs> Grows a hand and flies in <laughs> Oh god, yes. <laughs> oh, Papa? <laughs> huh, this seems a little safer. I'm about to go on land, aren't I? I am on land. Guys, my, uh, our, uh, our recliner is rocking itself. I think I have ghosts. Or cats. Probably cats. <laughs> Damn it, come on! <laughs> Did Link just feel up this ice block? This is the best part of this whole adventure, is uh, constantly hopping off trying to... Oh my god, they're... <sighs> you guys are drunk, aren't you? You're drunk on this party boat. Which <laughs> one of these barrel bros is a keg? Yeah, if I started reaching for it, you should just pull it out of nowhere. Give me that. Tiger D's nuts. I apologize. I only enjoy a good D's nuts joke whenever it really comes out of nowhere. Like the other, uh, it was probably like a, like a week or two ago, uh, when me, Pumps, and, uh, Kudo Koopa were playing, um, 11. I asked, like, what is the plural of, uh, Dragoon, Dragi, uh, Dragine. And I'm like, Dragine these nuts across your face. <laughs> uh, because it, it was an accident. It was wonderful. <laughs> Would have been set up. I hate it. Like the whole stupid Ligma thing. That was always cancer.
What are you offering or not? <sighs> I'll be back in a second barrel, bro. Oh, hey, I can walk. Sweet. Favorite scene of Star Wars is when Wong Yum and Jin Gong Kui <laughs> when Jin Gong Kui <laughs> use the laser swords to weld Darth Maul's legs back on. <laughs> oh God, I need I need this I need all of these in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I get to blow it once, and then it runs away from me. I know what I said. And it's running away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That was my favorite Star Wars character, was Ob. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that almost was bad, and I was going to be sad. Man, for the longest time when I was a child, I was dumb because I was a child, and I thought it was lifesavers. Like the candy, and not lightsaber, like the sword. <laughs> Freaking drunk bards. Barrels, these aren't bards at all. Cream savers, you say. Go on. <laughs> I just want to go and take my bros across the ocean. Why does the internet hate me? Internet? I mean, like the universe, not the internet. Unless the, you know, universe is a broadband simulation. Simulating DHCP handshakes and... I don't know what I'm getting at, guys. <laughs> Wani O, classic character. <sighs> Not gonna lie, little bit looking forward to doing the uh the shades of Link. <laughs> Caramel ones back in the day, but they don't sell them anymore. Is it because they were made with a be asbestos? All the best things were made with a asbestos. Asbest Je Jeff Bezos. Everything that is good is made by our Lord and Savior, Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> has, uh, just remember, Jeff Bezos had the money and the know-how to be Santa Claus. And he didn't. Instead, he chose to spend billions going to space. Dude knew what everybody wanted and could have literally been Santa Claus. Sorry, I was afraid to breathe, so I didn't say anything. It's not pesos, it's pesos. It's, yeah, pesos. That's what I said, pesos. Jeffrey, uh, Jonathan Pesos. Jephanthony Pesos. Jephanthony. The classic 
American name, Jephanthony. Dicks! No! <laughs> Right, you've forsaken me, Jephanthony. <laughs> it was vibrating so aggressively that you had to use sail twice in order to explain what you were talking about. I got you. Oh, come on. I was not inside of that. Womp. No! Tiddlywinks. I didn't know where it would land, so I kind of just went out into the middle of nowhere. Almost pushed it right off the edge again. Huh? Huh? Alright, we're good. At least that was the only explanation I had for it. My neck is itchy. Quit wobbling. You know better. No, you don't. You guys are wasted. We've talked about this. These bros are smashed on this boat. They saw it as a, you know, an all-you-can-drink cruise. I saw the Azure River, but I was afraid eight of one despawning. The fact that the other was still visible at the cave entrance meant the despawning. You say that, but Yonobo will despawn being right behind me. Like, when you get really far from, um... Though, whenever you're carrying something, it seems to be handled a little differently in me uh, memory. Yonobo's a bitch. <laughs> that sums it up for us. I can agree with that whole thing. Um, so it's best to be safe and not worry. Exactly. Because the once you get out of their uh, their like home quadrant, it gets real messy, like real fast. It seems to be like I've carried enough bros across the map that, um, it seems like s objects like these aren't as volatile as um, NPCs. Surplus, welcome back. Also, Veritas, hello there. Just been talking to you, and I haven't... Didn't say hello or anything. What's wrong with me? No, 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 no. Okay. I thought it was about to fall on the raft and explode on my face. Usually you gotta pay extra for that. The bros are here. I remember this time. They just aren't spawned right now. Ew, I don't have the good bow alight equipped. There we go. Hehe, <laughs> dead. This sounds Ganony. God, I 
want to freaking play A Link Between Worlds so bad. I need to. I need to. And there's our other bro. Alright, let's go. Bro go. <laughs> Read something in a character's voice. Did I did I win? Did I succeed? I don't know, take it up with the Discord. <laughs> I'm more about those shades of Link. <laughs> a lot of things wrong with a lot of people. Alright, I need to put you guys... here... and here. This is... <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey reciting the Communist Manifesto. If I could do Gilbert Godfrey's voice, yes. Uh, preferably a voice you have heard me do. I mean, Mickey Mouse could do it, y'all. You gotta pay extra for those lines. <laughs> that was explosive for making a nuke. <laughs> We're having a romantic ra uh, raft ride with bros. <laughs> I just need to unparallel park here. Nobody fall, nobody fall. Okay, good. Now's the fun part. The one time I have had all four bros on here, uh, it took... It took a long time because they kept falling off because these these bros are all part. They've been partying. They're wasted. Oh, mm. preferably give me a line to use. Yeah, I've been sick uh, so many times that I just know how to do that voice now. It's more fun when I can't talk in any other voice but Mickey. But yeah. <laughs> it's more wasted the way it's vibrating. I thought putting them all in one corner would make it okay, but nope, they all fell over. <laughs> oh, that sound was the bros. It's a nuclear battering ram. I mean, they don't... They don't usually... Yeah. Barreling ram! It was right there. Oh, I was picking this one up. Uh, I thought about, I like, I mentioned this last time, how I hate that I can't turn the music off in-game. Um, because I like having the sound effects playing with my own music. But, I can't do that. So, I kind of randomly hear the other music, and I could completely disable it so you guys and, like, the stream and the recording don't hear it, but I do. But, I don't... <sighs> I, if I'm actually doing a, um, whatchamacallit, if I do stream highlights for another shrine or something, um, there's some ass kicking, uh, kicking going on. It was that. Did that barrel just fall over before I moved the raft? I saw it wiggling. <laughs> this is the dumbest. This is the dumbest. I stand by my statement. <laughs> Bro overboard. I mean, I'll see it whenever I'm going through the uh, thing. Or somebody can clip it. I don't care. I 
I say I'll see it later, but I, I won't. I won't. Yeah, that's a lot of words. For different games. You like games that let you do stuff in a way. Eh, I've played Hollow Knight. Um, but, yeah. I started playing it and I couldn't get into it. Which is weird, because everybody who plays that game loves it. I just, I couldn't get into it. And maybe it was the timing that I did. Is that thing coming straight for us? It coming right for us! Okay, this is fine. <laughs> it's more like simulation and open world games that really work out. Like, Breath of the Wild has such a well-made engine that I can, I can do stupid stuff like this and it works out. Yep. Yep. <laughs> exactly, that was the exact- oh, exactly what I was getting at, Pumps. Uh, I don't remember much of South Park, but I remember that. You can't shoot, but you gotta... Yeah, I played Gas Station Simulator. You might still be able to see the VOD on here. Um, I... Lo uh... I desynced things to a point where a car got stuck inside the, um, the gas pump. Uh, let's see, what else was there? Um, I successfully is had a cutscene while talking to, uh, customers. I, I escaped, like, everything in that game. It was great. Because I do enjoy, like playing the occasional like indie game like that um, with the intention of not actually trying to play the game but breaking the crap out of it um, there's that a uh, gas station simulator is a good example um, I mentioned this sometimes I mentioned this sometimes you know how you mention things um, the coin game that arcade simulator game um, I broke the ever-living hell out of it, and I've never played a single arcade game in it. <laughs> Ooh. I, guess, I don't know if I really enjoy Breath of the Wild <laughs> anymore. <laughs> uh, I have done so much with this game. It's, it's, I'm glad Tears is coming out soon, because I need to retire it. You didn't really enjoy it, but you came back. Yeah, it's it, it's one of those games that like I oh god that was close. Um, I enjoy Metroidvania games, um, but it has to be able to keep me going the whole time. If you know what I'm saying. When Salt and Sanctuary came out, um, I played the crap out of that game, and it's because there were. You know, I could do just a couple glitches and destroy the entire game. And I had a lot of good fun with it. Alright, come back here. Oi! Can we stop? Stop wiggling so much, guys. <laughs> hey, the bad jokes are what, uh, what keeps us going. Also, I 100% expect to not enjoy um, Tears of the Kingdom the way I enjoyed Breath of the Wild the first time. Though, I don't know if I really enjoyed Breath of the Wild the first time. Like, I played through it, it was a fun game, it was a Zelda game, but at the end of it, I'm just like, eh? I'll 
I also have to have time to play games. Because whenever I have a game I want to play, I'll play the shit out of it, but when I have to try to get myself to play a game, it, it never works out. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm trying to focus on these barrels real hard. Yeah, I, I'm get well, it's a Zelda game, so I 100% will play it, because I've always enjoyed, like, every Zelda game. Um, but, like, this wasn't... If I were to rate my favorite Zelda games, Breath of the Wild isn't on the top. Like, nowhere near the top of the list, whenever I think of a Zelda game. It's a really good game, and I enjoyed it, but it's not on the high list of my favorite Zelda games. Enjoyed the different aspect. Yeah, like I said, it's a really good game, but not quite like a good quote unquote Zelda game. I don't know. Literally, if Tears of the Kingdom could be this but have dungeons, and I'd be happy. I like progressive dungeons where you have to go, you go somewhere, you get a thing, it unlocks things, uh, you know, being able to do other stuff. But I get why it wasn't done in this, but yeah. I gotta stretch for a second. Oh god, yes. I hate this game because you can't pet the dog. <laughs> uh, good. Can't pet the dog, 10 out of 10, would play again. <laughs> I mean, if I could successfully get a horse partially in the ground where a dog is and have it, like, clipped into Link, you could totally, like, soothe the horse and pet the dog. How to pet dogs in, uh, Breath of the Wild. That's how I get millions of views. <laughs> Corn, hello there. Yeah, that's that's gonna be enjoyable, um, to be able to to play it. It's gonna be difficult to play through it blind. Like I'm gonna play through the story blind, um, but everything else I'm gonna have to look up uh, because content reasons. Mostly armor. Like if there is extra, if there is armor to be done, um, I have to hunt down a hat. Wait a minute. Who was saying they hate Ocarina of Time? Yeah, the older ones... Well, when you get to older games, you reach a point where... It's harder for to just explain things. Like, you have to explore in order to obtain information because the game was limited. And then there's games like Final Fantasy XI, who has all the resource space in the world, and they're just like, eh, I'm not going to give you any hint of how to do this quest. Crap. <laughs> General Ob. That's <laughs> so far away. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, Ocarina of Time probably is my favorite 3D Zelda too. Uh, 2D Zelda is a link between, uh, or a link between the past. Sticking to it. Yeah, this is a different game. Um, and for the people who, like, this is their introduction to Zelda, like, if they go back to the older things, it's, it's a completely different game at that point. And, oh no! <sighs> <laughs> the Barrel Bros are taking off with the boat again. Said least favorite. Well, fuck you! I stand by that it is my favorite. Actually, Majora's Mask might be. Might be Majora's Mask. I haven't played A Link Between Worlds. I'm pretty sure it'll, you know, become my favorite 3D Zelda once I play it. Because A Link to the Past is so good. <laughs> a Link to the Past, or Majora's Mask took you a year to finish because you forgot you didn't. <laughs> That's great. <sighs> Party bros. Oh, come on. Stop with this. The bros keep taking off with the, uh, the raft. Can I swim the, uh... Oh crap, I can! I can just push it slightly closer. Oh, no, the wind was pushing us. Can we stop? Can we stop? Up, oh, please. I just want to go somewhere. Get it done. Stop stealing the raft! Yeah, nobody said, uh, the days of having one analog stick were, were good days. Favorite activity that you, uh, do at the beach that you shouldn't do at the beach? Never get sand in your soup. It's coarse and gets everywhere. <laughs> this bro is too close to the edge. And he just pushed his friend into the water. And they're running away with the uh, raft again. Freaking drunk barrels. Yeah, I... I was raised on zero joysticks, and then... 
one joystick and then so I kind of adapted as I went. Yay. Then anyone figured out uh, where the CD? Yeah, yeah, they, they like to, not. <laughs> they just like to not. We're gonna let you make this show. Okay, what the f did you make? Music is getting real intense for our, our romantic raft ride. Please don't. Like, I want to zoom real hard, but I can't. I feel like if I take my time, they're less likely to hit the bar and jump overboard. Though sometimes I can go, like, as fast as possible and they're fine. At other times, I go like six feet, millimeters, sixty feety milli feety meters. Oh no! Let's not hit this one again. Bad things are gonna happen if we keep that up. The old feety meters. <laughs> eh, I don't well why I thought of trying that and it worked out, so I guess that's cool. Hey! You drunkies, get back here. Apparently that one hit was enough to just derail it horribly. Holy crap, I just realized the uh, Switch also didn't have... Not the Switch. Um, the Wii didn't have two analog sticks. <laughs> Barrel of barrels. I don't know, one of these is bound to be a keg because... Uh, they are obviously wasted. Meet a boss. Who is the boss? Tony Danz is the boss. I see something swimming there and I'm getting cautious. Screw it, let's just go! Yeehaw! Um. Ah, oh crap! I've got a long way to go. Boop. I thought I was almost there. Throw caution to the wind. How about I throw a barrel into the water? Is that good? Are those, uh, equivalents? Hee! <laughs> I got two barrels at once. Shouldn't have had to. I thought this was outside the, uh, the haunted mansion, but apparently it's not. Climb, good boy. Yeah. 
I have no idea why I broke all of them. I'm gonna see if I can stop the raft fast enough. <laughs> I'm doing that thing where I'm not breathing again, guys. <laughs> Barrel, no! Barrel? Did I just call him by his first name? What? <laughs> and now it's all it's all falling apart. Let's see, growing up, uh console wise, I started on a uh I think I actually started on a Super Nintendo and then went back to a regular Nintendo. Or I might have started on a regular Nintendo. I don't know. I was one and a half. Um, yeah, I got a Super Nintendo. Eventually, a, a gen, a, a, I, got, I got the Segos. Uh, I think we actually traded it in for the, like, tr the console, for the other console. Um, eventually got an N64, threw my barrel in the water. Uh, N64 to PlayStation 1, I think. Yeah, because I started, that's when I started playing Final Fantasy games. Um, PS2, Xbox some time after that. Uh, and then it was a Wii. Xbox 360. No, I got my Xbox 360 before my Wii. I got a, uh, a Game Boy somewhere in this mix. Well, I tried. And now I've had every console since then. And by that, I mean every... I've had a PS3, PS4, PS5. Um, had a Wii U. Really wish I kept it. Probably going to get a different, another one and soft mod that one too. And after that... And eventually, at one point, got my Switch. I actually got my Switch to start, um... I got a Switch Lite, because that was during quarantine when you couldn't get a Switch because scalpers. But they didn't scalp the Switch Lite. Uh, which my kid now plays. Uh, she now plays the Switch Lite. Uh, I got the actual console, uh, because after we finish, um, Ocarina of Time, three players, one controller... Uh, we did, we started Breath of the Wild, um, and as always, I, I written, I created an entire, like, you know, soft controller through a Raspberry Pi to combine three different controllers inputs. It was great. I don't like Microsoft, even though I use Windows. I don't know, I think I just don't care for Microsoft, is it? Twitch does have the best exclusives, because every other exclusive is like, Be sure to play Madden 2097. Exclusive on the PlayStation. Also, I hate that word, it's exclusive. Oh my god, somebody's shooting at us. Is that guy? Nope. Where is it coming from? Oh, I'm shooting the regular bow of light. That's the problem. There we go. Perception's dying. Well, rip. He's dead. I hate exclusives, and that's the only. That is not the only reason. Um, hang on. I gotta shoot this guy. 
Uh, I absolutely despise the Epic Game Store because they're alive because of exclusives at this point, it seems. It's like, you could play your fa this game you've been looking forward to, but joke's on you! Bullshit. Also, we interviewed at one point, uh, it was like four years ago, um, I was interviewing somebody who uh, apparently tested the Epic Games launcher, and I'm like, we're not hiring you because I know how shitty that software is. <laughs> yeah, that's right, there was a uh, sequel to Salt and Sanctuary that came out, it's bullshit. You want me to pirate your games? That's how I legally obtain your games and don't actually pirate them. I get them off a boat. Yeah, Borderlands 3 is the only game that I bought on um, the Epic's Game Store. And the best part is, um, I bought one copy, and then I also went in to buy two more uh, for uh, our roommate and my wife. And so we could all play. There was an issue with all of them. We beat the game in two weeks. And after three days, they had refunded it all. They took the game away after about a month. But by that point, I was done with it. And then we play I bought it on uh, Steam. <laughs> Though at this point, uh, to avoid Epic Games altogether, really, um, I'm trying to do more console gaming than um, PC gaming nowadays. Like, my PC is good enough to run just about anything, but... I It's too much work, and also, in order to play games um, at my, uh, my desk, I can just effectively do that at the end of the day, and that's it. So I don't really have time to play, um, whatchamacallit. Because also optimizing for PC is a little ridiculous. Though Cyberpunk is, the, or the only reason I played Spy Cyberpunk was because it was on PC. Because I bought it for PS4. You know, before... I, I actually bought it, like, this first or second day before I knew of the problems. Um, and I'm glad they refunded it. But also, for recording and streaming, it allows... It's a lot more flexible for me. Any game that I'm going to play that is... I know is going to have a good modding community, um, I'll get it for PC. Though I do have currently, um, hang on, uh, 10 times, uh, 10 times 12, so 120 times 3, 360 plus 400, 700 odd games in my Steam library that I've never played. Potential. Um, I have about 300 unclaimed games for on my uh, Humble Bundle subscription. And I have that subscription solely because it is... I have a uh, credit card that is unused except for that. And it's there just to generate usage. Um, and it's the first thing I had for my credit card. So at this point, it's just whatever. Though I did finally get uh, Doom Eternal for free, basically. Um, oh, first-person shooters and any game that's in first-person, um, I will play on PC. No! No! Not again. Meanwhile, etc. I cannot play first-person games with uh, with controller anymore. I did for the longest time, and the second I started playing with a keyboard and mouse, I I can't. I cannot until a console allows me to use keyboard and mouse. I will, yeah, first-person games. Hazel, hello there. What the f could I just... <sighs> Let's try this again. 
This time with leaping. Okay, we're good. That was a very manly sound that you heard. Hmm. Game development is outpacing console development. Yeah, uh, I think, what was it, uh, Forspoken that came out recently is bad on PS5 and requires, like, a godlike PC uh, to play on PC or something. Although, um, I could just do what I did for, um, when I made my soft controller for the Switch... Um, which is literally just a controller that relays inputs through my PC. Um, yeah, gyro aiming is really good. That's the only reason I can aim for, uh, you know, anything in Breath of the Wild, is gyro aiming. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna save it. <laughs> gyro aiming is good, and I could probably get behind it. Um, and get used to it for, like, first-person shooters and things. Um, but yeah. But, uh, the soft controller that I had designed to relay our three players, one controller thing. Aw, oh, crap. Just dump them all in the water. Uh, I could relay anything, including, um, keyboard and mouse inputs. I had the thought of, like, using it and playing, like, Splatoon. With a, uh... <laughs> with keyboard and mouse. All of the bros. I feel like they would have keyboard and mouse support before they had gyro controllers. Oh my god. Laying down on the sofa is more comfortable than optimal positioning. Yeah. It's coming back this way, isn't it? Please don't explode. Thank you. <laughs> Crap. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Scientifically proven that grunting improves your jumps in video games. Xbox already has keyboard and mouse support? Well, damn. It's not going to get me to buy one. Like, there is literally zero games on Xbox that I can't get on PC, so... <laughs> that I'd want to play. I mean, I'm sure they have plenty of, you know, world premiere exclusives. That was not the right voice. I was going for the E3 voice. That's always just like, world premiere, exclusive, epic game store exclusive. Are those fish or murders? They're murders. <laughs> this is a bad idea to be, <laughs> I smacked so many bombs there. Uh, I don't, I don't know what I want anymore, really. <laughs> I 
Like first person games, I need keyboard and mouse or good gyro. And everything else that I use controller for, I'd prefer a console at this point. Also, if people would stop trying to make games look like, you know, actual movies, that'd be great. There's, there's zero reason why we need, like, realistic-looking uh, human beings in every single game. Look at this, I'm a bunny man, that's great. I gotta, I gotta reposition my back hurts. Please don't fall. <laughs> I had to speak, didn't I? It's always you two. The same problem is happening in RTS and Great Strategy games where it makes it really hard to enjoy the games on your potato. <laughs> Like, I enjoy just, you know, oh crap, I don't know how this is going to go in a second. That dragon is about to just ruin my day, isn't it? No! I really expected that to blow up. I ran over a bomb and everything didn't explode. That's not how bombs work. <sighs> oh come on, you're kidding me! Um, yeah, this isn't good. Can you stop blowing me, dude? Uh, what was it? Uh, also, with games um, becoming excessively bloated, um, if you look at, like, uh, I think it was Ark was the example they used, um, how whenever they make a new map or anything, instead of referencing the object in an old map or just somewhere in the files, they copy and paste it, so it just becomes stupidly huge, file size-wise. It's dumb. Yeah, graphics are the most important part of a movie and the least important part of the uh, thing, but playability is the least important part of a movie. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I was saying there. Yeah, like, I like when things are pretty, but with my crappy eyes, it's it's not going to matter. <laughs> also, that dragon just ruined everything. The whole shrine is over. Everybody pack it up. We're going home. Also, it's raining now. Hey, did I position it correctly? Yeah! Oh no, this ice is slippery. I'm gonna catch it when it runs through. I guess I'll just let it push me. 
I'm going the right way, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, it, it's neat when you can optimize a game to be pretty, but also fun, but most of the time it's not the case. Also, Cyberpunk was fun, but I did not... It could have been, like, looked like Grand Theft Auto 3 and it would have been just as good. <laughs> Well, yeah, because while, you know, smart people realize that, uh, there are dum-dums out there that are like, I like the birdies. And that's all that matters. That's right. And if you, if you like graphics and video games over everything else, then you're a dum-dum. I'm standing by it. I will insult all of you if I have to. Yeah, like, if you have a good art style, you can get away with, like, poorer graphics. Uh, just look at, um, Wind Waker, for example. The art style compensated for, like, was able to compensate and make the game not look bad. Because it was colorful and enjoyable. Though I do like colorful type games, like the cell shading in it. I enjoyed, I like that. I'm strange. Please don't land on the boat. Or under the boat. <laughs> Shapes and beats. Yeah. Eh. One more jump. Eh. Alright, I need the game to allow me to... Oh, this is the stupid one. Okay, then. Oh. Also, um... Uh, VR games. Like, obviously those require, like, a lot more, in, like, intense things. And I enjoy that, like, one of the greatest VR games, which is uh, Beat Saber, uh, is literally just blocks. It's just basic-ass blocks in Unity. And, well, because you can add custom songs, it's good. Really stupid good. Compared to, like, games that try to be realistic in VR, and it's just nauseating. No, 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 no. I haven't played VR in a long time. Played in VR. I also am not entirely sure where the uh, cables to my um, lighthouses are. Dude! You got one job. Don't fall down. Also, uh, Zelda's a real good example right here of just... You can make something look pretty without being overly obsessed. Like this. It's pretty. Oh, crap. That's right. This is where the wind starts sucking me in. Memo! It's gonna get sucked off. <laughs> Alright. Um, where's the first one? Right there. Okay. So I need to go around this rock? Crap, I need to go this way. I need to stop hitting the barrels. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, today is brought to you by the color Strawberry Watermelon. Don't tell my kids, because they drink the Strawberry Watermelons. I'm pretty well hydrated today, so... I didn't have to, like, chug it uh, during the first 20 minutes. 
You brought four barrels from all across the map to the shrine? Nice. Because I assume you solved it correctly. Okay. I learned last time. I'm about to have a very bad time, aren't I? Yep, 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 it's all going wrong. This is what happened last time. Okay. I cannot lift it up because of the ice, so I have to go around. I have to go around. I need to stop trying to play the hero. I need to just somehow make my raft fight against this hurricane force wind. <laughs> yes, you solved it properly. This is fine. This is where I need to go. <laughs> Alright, let me see where the rocks are. There are the rocks. Okay. Um, we need to get closer. But also not closer. But times because the wind will blow the barrel off <sighs> all right well here goes nothing set this here we're gonna put all the barrel other barrels as far as physically possible If I miss, maybe I should move forward just a tiny bit. Here, here's an idea. Oop. Didn't really do anything. I need, I need to go a little bit uh, forward in a different way. Uh, I can't really block the wrong way with ice. Um, because it's gonna lift it up, like, it would lift the, the barrel up. Also, good night, surplus. Uh, and it would yeet it into the, uh, the rocks, which also could hit me if it falls off incorrectly. <laughs> That's how the last one ended. I need to move the ice block further over to the side. All right, this should do it. Hurt! One down. None down. Why did they explode? Why? Why did they explode? They were so far from that. It didn't hit me, but it hit the other barrels. All right, so here's the plan next time. Um, we're going to put all the bombs right here. We're just going to pick them up and set them right here. And then I'm going to take it in just one at a time. Just going to take one at a time. Marshall, hello there. I'm going to take the bombs in one at a time after it took uh, an hour and a half to get here. <sighs> I'm very upset. <sighs> I don't think I have anything I can do. 
Let me double check my my thing real quick. Breath of the Wild. Man, this is back when I was just doing generic tests. Because my spreadsheet is called Breath of the Wild Tests that I ended up putting this on. Can't really go take a bear. Can't. There are some of the... There's one. The test of boat I could probably do, but I need to do that after... Um. Yeah. Still gotta figure out the blue dragon shrine. And delivering the ice. Like crap. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven shrines left to record. I am almost in single digits, guys. <laughs> it has been. You test that rock to make sure it doesn't produce a secondary explosion. Uh, it could be a situation like there is already an uh, explosive barrel inside it to ensure that everything around it explodes. Um, so I think next time I'm just going to set them all over here. Uh, I'm going to safely put them down over here and take one over there and blow it up. I just need to play it as safe as possible. It's really it. Hey, you! Get off my lawn! Oh. Because they just really need to be a lot farther away. It's probably similar to the other thing. To ensure that everything that needs to blow up blows up, there's probably barrel bros inside of it. Uh. Yep, let me go ahead and uh, end the recording. No, I might do the uh, actual Barrel Bro video, um, and then do, like, a highlight video of it. <laughs> we all felt this pain. Yeah. <sighs> but, yeah, um, out of the 11 left to do, uh, one of them, actually, wait, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have ten left to do. Um, because one of them, I don't really have to, I have to record it a little bit. Um, but it's mostly just going to be me ranting about the shrine. Because there's literally nothing I can do impractically. I could wrong warp. That's about it. And I might do that still. I might make that the end solution of me getting really mad and be like, "Fucking, I'm wrong warping." It, it is single-handedly, and I'm gonna go into de great detail. It is Breath of the Wild's worst shrine from a gameplay standpoint, from a quality assurance standpoint, and I stand by that. But well, we'll get to that whenever the time comes. Ah. Oh. But I will be back possibly tomorrow. Um, my plan for this week is I'm going to attempt to stream um, every day this week as long as my kids are asleep by a normal hour. So you might get a bunch of streams this week. Yeah, get your Jerry's in for your Shades, shades of Link. But if you want your Jarius, this week's a good week for it. Because um, I'm running out of... Uh, we've almost finished up everything that we're watching at night, so... I won't have to... Uh, you know, feel like I can do one or two other things. Just want to stream. Because I want to finish this up so I can start like playing other things and just getting more content out. Also, not working is driving me insane, so I've got plenty of time to work on content. Another day of you having to watch the VOD. Yeah, this one actually, this trip was just one single trip. Wait, two. Two. Skeleton yeeted the bomb at me. Um, I am thinking of doing a, uh, a, a highlight stream for these, though. Or highlight video. 
for all of the Barrel Bro stuff. We'll see. It's not going to be the Barrel Bro video, though. Because those are 100%. I'm going to do the music for that and then do a highlight video afterwards, probably. Maybe. We'll see. Who knows? But it was fun. See you guys tomorrow night, hopefully. As long as something doesn't go horribly wrong. Now if people come over, I'm telling them to get the f*** out of this room. But you guys have a good night, evening, weekend, morning, sandwich, whatever. I need to add Super Mario RPG to all of these. But see you good later. Have a good night, everybody. Your phone started streaming. Oh, that sucks, man. Uh, you could also join the Discord. The Discord I had. You can you can now sign up for stre uh pings uh, specific pings. You want to be notified when I go live or a video is posted? Join the Discord. It's below the stream. Because I also added it down there, finally! Alright. Don't have Discord? Who the fuck doesn't have Discord? Get him, guys! <laughs> it's fine, man. Do you use Skype? I get to use Skype. No. <laughs> Good night, everybody. I'm logging off.